Hey, wonderfuls. Here we have Kenya practicing for her Magic City halftime performance. Yes. Yes. Her, she enlisted her friend, Magneta. You all know Magneta, the one that introduced her to Roy. Yeah. Uh, she's helping her with the choreography. And at one point, Kenya was showing her how she wanted to be done, talking about the girls in the marching bands, how they come out just swinging their arms and things. And Magneta said, well, you go on, you choreography this because uh, you see, you know what you want. So Kenya was flailing her arms and saying, yeah, so she want to drop it like it <laughs> it's hot, like they say. She want to drop it like it's hot because she see the girls in the marching bands come out there with their, uh, uh, what do they call it? She said their capes on. She, they come out there with their capes on and flinging it. So we're going to see a lot of that, I suppose, because my Yetta said, well, go on, girl, you choreography this then. And Kenya gets a call from her boy toy, Roy. Yes. And I call him that because Kenya herself indicates that she's having fun right now and she's just ready to be free. She talked about how she's been dealing with this divorce thing since 2019 and she is just ready for it to be over. She's ready to be free. And so with that freedom, she is dancing during the halftime show of the Magic City Classic football team. Yes. Yes. And in addition to that, her hair care line is sponsoring it. So she's going to be out there broadcasting for the Kenya Moore hair care line. So I'm so happy for her. I am so happy to see Kenya in this place of joy. Yes, I am. Because what she went through with her ex, Mark, it's just sad. It's sad. And I mean, I saw it coming to this. Because when I first spotted Mark to come on that show, The Real Housewives of Atlanta, when I first spotted him, come on that show and to act the way he did toward her was just mm, very put offish. And I called him an opportunist, in my opinion. From the very first time he appeared on Real Housewives of Atlanta, to me, the way it was just the vibes. I mean, he didn't give off the... I'm in love with Kenya vibes. I mean, he was distant. He was standoffish. I mean, so much so that others had begun to notice it. Yes. People kept saying, oh, uh, Mark is just an opportunist. Uh, Mark is just a storyline. I mean, really, those are the things that they were saying. And so I'm like, well... Uh, I wasn't the only one that saw that. And everybody really likes this new Kenya. Yes, they are commenting all the time that they like this new Kenya. And Kenya is giving off good vibes this season around. And yeah, with that good energy that she is displaying now in this new season, many good things can happen for her. And so we all already see that taking place for her. And um, we're going to see some other things with uh, Kenya and Candy doing some things together. And I'm going to put out that video with them uh, on this little excursion. And they're really having a good time. But right now, yeah, Kenya is practicing for her performance and she's having a really good time. And we are all happy to see this for her. 
I'm telling you, she went through enough with that man, that ex, Mark, until it's time for her to really be free and really enjoy the fruits of her labor. Yes. So go on, Kenya girl. Get your happy on. We are here for it. Okay. Okay, wonderfuls. Talk to you later.